can't understand the reflected self. Is the reflected self and self same? Please explain. See, when you look in a mirror, what you see is your own image in a reverse order. When you look your face in a mirror, you see your own face in a, a reverse. The left is right and the right is left. So you, you can say what you are seeing in the mirror is the reflected image of your face. It's your face, but yet it is not exactly the same. There is some change because we see ulta, opposite in that. Although nobody doubts it. Nobody doubts it. And they think, oh, it's same. It's not same. It's very different. Now let me say if the mirror is broken or cracked, then the reflected image which you will see in the mirror also will be cracked. If the mirror is dirty, then the image will be dirty. If uh, it's broken and it's very dirty, then what you will see in your face would also be dirty, fuzzy and cracked. But that doesn't mean your face is cracked. Similarly, in your reality, in your true form, you are Satchitananda. Truth blissful and ever conscious. That is what in reality your existence is. But in the mirror of your mind, this is a reflected self, which we can call the, the false I. That gets exhibited. And we see this I as me. When you say I, then it is that reflected but opposite of what your true reality is. Now if your mind is fuzzy, you seem to see yourself as fuzzy. If your mind is broken, if your mind is disturbed, if your mind is fragmented, and so would be the sense that this is me, fragmented, broken, depressed. And here I am saying, what you are seeing in the reflected self is not your real self. So you are neither depressed because mind is depressed and you are different from mind. Like you are different from the mirror in which your face is getting reflected. Similarly, mind is the mirror. You are the one who is getting reflected in the mirror. Now if the mirror is broken or cracked or dirty, so would be the image. Now, strangely enough, we see this reflected self as I, I am happy, I am unhappy, I am depressed, I am keen, I am a fool, I am wise, I am this and that. There is a long list of adjectives and emotions which you feel. So the mind is different from you and so is this image which gets created in the mirror of the mind. And that's all the objective of Vedanta to teach you that this reflected illusionary self is not your true identity. Now who am I then? That needs to be understood by listening, by doing satsang. The more you understand because your sense of I is because of this mind. And this mind is broken and fragmented. Hence, we need to simultaneous make our mind integrated, quiet and rustle free, waves free, not being an emotional fool all the time. See, when we invest our happiness in others and we think this, 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 this person will make me happy, Ah, you are already a crackpot. Because your all liberty is now with that person. So I, I say this, never be emotional slave of anybody. Never have such emotional ties with anybody that you end up being a tamed dog with that person. And that's why if somebody is getting emotionally uh, abused, the, you, the, the term used is that you are living a dog's life. You're like a dog. You know, you tell your dog, sit. Dog sits. Stand. Dog will stand. Run. Dog runs. Sleep. Dog will sleep. Lie down. Dog will lie down. Now, I have another take on this whole, whole situation. Men are like sun. 
Now sun is glowing in its own glory, meaning very egoistic. You know, why are you egoistic? Because I am a man. That's the only achievement. <laughs> what do you have? What, what do you gain? What, you know, once a boy is born in a, in a family, oh, that, that boy becomes the darling, the apple of eye of the whole family. And girls, oh, okay. You are weak. You, you are very weak. You be under shadow of somebody. Ah, nobody is ready to accept her. A strong woman, not thousands of years ago, ask me, not even today. What to say about the society? Even so-called Mahatmas cannot accept a strong woman. They get scared, very, very scared. So the sun, man is like a sun, just in its own axis, is very happy, burning with the ego. Moon, moon is revolving around the, the sun, right? Now what happens is, woman who is a moon wants the sun to follow her. Would it happen? <laughs> huh? Astronomically it won't happen. And sun doesn't bother and doesn't care because it's blaring hot and it's so strong. So I don't care. So the moon, meaning the woman, she is... She is trying to woo the man. That's why, woo men. <laughs> she wants to woo the man so that man follows her orders. And I have seen this. M mind you, I have seen this. This is husband, wife. Wife was a, in the room. Husband was in the corner. I was in the center on the sofa. The woman looked at the man and she did. And man went out. Oh, it was such a jovial scene to see. Moon to Ebony Bola, Tommy Hush. <laughs> Tommy, without saying Hush, is running on her sign. She just raised her one eyebrow, little eyebrow. And she does. Mm, mm. And he comes out, and whatever they had to say. So the, the man's whole life is that a woman should always follow him. And the, the woman wants the man, the son, to follow. So that's the whole confusion. Right? That's, that's the whole trouble. So we are always uh, dependent. And actually, when you want somebody to follow you, you too get uh, knotted with them. You too get in a, in a knot, K-N-O-T. Not N-O-T. You are in a knotted situation. Both of you are knotted. One wants to control. The other doesn't want to be controlled. So this whole tussle is how to control the other person. Now both are in a prison. So all human relationships ends up like a prison then. So the tussle is there. The real time tussle is there. And then everybody has their own... Um, baggage of insecurities. What will happen? I can't live alone. Um, a husband was saying to me, he had such a long list of complaints about his wife. She is this, she is that, she is this, she is that. And what I could see is, in spite of her, all the flaws which she had, he cannot live without her. I see this happening so many times. The father is complaining about the son. Son is uh, not good, not responsible, um, is careless, is this, is that. And yet the father cannot live without the son. Husband without the wife, wife without the husband, parent without the children, children without the parents. So they are in a hate-love relationship. They hate one another actually. But it seems they are loving me. Nobody says I hate you. Everybody says I love you. But inside, because you are in this slavery, nobody likes slavery. Nobody likes slavery. A daughter was having conversation with her mother, newly wed. And it was just a month and after her marriage though. Mom asked, how are you? How is everything? How is your husband? Daughter said, Mom, don't worry. I am your daughter. I have been well trained. 
just give me one month more he will be following me like a lamb like dad does i am very well trained have faith in your training don't worry i am going to pack mother in law to some place another and i'll be ruling the roost you don't worry you know wanna control every person is a sun inside and the other person is like a moon and every time the moon wants the the sun to be in that following zone but the sun isn't going to take you know any bother about that that's the whole problem of the worldly life and only if you could understand the reality of your own being now all these melodramatic emotional games are played by the mind vedanta says you are not the mind what a revelation what a freedom you are not the mind and the one which you see a very emotional fool and not very wise this is the reflected self it's not your true reality so don't worry at all just leave the reflected self and move into your true self living means understanding you can't literally leave it is going to be there as long as mind is there reflection is going to be there but that reflection is untrue this has to be understood very well